It was important to me to be involved in this group because of the enormity of the work. Enormity meaning the actual amount of work and the enormity meaning, meaning the resonance not only for, for the Georgetown community, um, not only for Georgetown's legacy, but also for what it means for America. We are in a unique position to be able to trace people back to a time when they weren't considered people. And because of that, we have a res special responsibility to do the right thing. And I was very honored to be asked to be part of that group. I think interestingly, the topic within the group um, was never contentious, but I do believe perspective played a role. And I say that because there are people in the group for whom this history resonated much more strongly than others. Um, they were much closer to it than others, and they had a particular attachment to it. Um, and I think having that diversity of perspective in the room um, provided for a much greater uh, conversation um, and provided for much more thoughtful solutions. I don't think Georgetown has a particular obligation. Um, I think every institution has some obligation to recognize this issue. Um, you know, these people were essentially balance sheet items. Um, why we have the ability to handle it differently and better, I think is twofold. The first fold, the leadership of President DeJoya. I think the president has shown thoughtfulness, caring, and concern on this issue that not many presidents have, in my opinion. Um, so his leadership was invaluable. And the second piece is because of the nature of the institution and because we have names and families and histories and we can point directly to people and directly to their descendants today in ways that most institutions can't. We were in a very um, special place with regard to how we deal with it. My experience was meaningful because the way the group interacted was special. And I think the way the group paid attention to everyone's perspective um, engendered hope. And engendered hope that we can handle these issues, we can tackle these issues in a, in a manner that is thoughtful, respectful, but also in a way where something gets done. Um, too oft, these things are talked about, and then people want to get credit for talking about it. I think what's great about this is that people are actually doing something about it or attempting to do something about it. I think, engage, I think President DeJoy engaging the descendants is, is critical. Um, I think letting them know that we, we value their perspective, value their opinions, um, that, we've, that we want to hear their stories personally um, is important. I think getting the descendants engaged in the process in some regard also adds heft to the report. It adds heft to the process because you're not um, acting on their behalf in a vacuum. They become, they become integral in what's rec recommended and what's enacted. And I think that's extremely important to the legacy question. I think doing this work has strengthened it. Um, I have a deep love for my institution and I don't think it'll waver, but I think watching how this works and other things work and, and seeing how President DeJoy has handled this and other issues makes me very proud to be a Georgetown alum.